From the JES First Warning Weather Center, here's meteorologist April Loveland. Well, look at the shot at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. Really nice out there. People already getting set up for a long day at the beach. That water temperature still a little on the cool side, upper 60s. Now, Wink was actually talking about this yesterday. Like, what's our normal temperature for June? Well, our current temperature out there right now is 68 degrees for our water temperature. June averages around 72.6, so that's taking all the temperatures for the month of June. Usually our warmest temperature, water temperature in June is around 76, 77 degrees. So I think we're a little bit below normal for this time of year. Our warmest is actually in August. That's 78 Point six degrees and our coldest is 41.4 that takes place in February. So that's, you know, right around the time we're doing that polar plunge out there. So nice and cold, but you know, hopefully with all these warm temperatures, we will start to see those water temperatures going up as well. So here's our rising temperatures out there today, upper 80s to near 90 or low 90s. We'll have a mild start to your Monday, so you're definitely not going to need that jacket as you head out the door tomorrow morning. We will see the low 70s. Another hot day for Monday afternoon with many of us in the upper 80s to maybe even a couple 90s out there. And we can look at our temperature trend. The heat is definitely on. We are looking at the low 90s today and then upper 80s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see the mid to upper 80s by Thursday. Here's our dew points as we head through the next couple of days. We're going to be right in between that muggy and oppressive range. So dew points anywhere 70, 71, 72, and that's when we really start feeling it in the air. So even though those highs in the upper 80s, a lot of us throughout the week are going to feel closer to the low 90s, even some mid 90s in there as well due to that humidity. So definitely makes a difference. Now, something you can do tonight because we are tracking mostly dry conditions. If you want to head out there with the kids, we are spotting the space station tonight. It's going to be visible for three minutes starting at 9.05 p.m. And sky conditions should be pretty good. It's going to appear in the western sky and then disappear to the south southwest. So something cool to get out there and do. As we look at our precip chances, 20% chance Sunday. And we are tracking uh, better chances by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We have about a 40% chance, not a complete washout, but more like that typical summer like pattern with those afternoon showers and storms. Better chances though heading into Thursday. That's all thanks to a cold front that's going to be trying to make its way into the area. First warning radar out there right now though. Not a whole lot going on. Nice to see after the past couple of days where it was pretty much full of rain. And as we look at our forecast heading through the overnight tonight, we're looking at uh, mostly dry conditions, but through this afternoon, just keeping that slight 20% chance for that shower storm, especially along northeastern North Carolina. But again, nothing too major. Most of us just mostly sunny and hot. 89 to start the work week, though. Afternoon storms possible. Same story for Tuesday and Wednesday. Better chances by Thursday and Friday with those scattered storms. There's our little bit of a cool down by Friday 85 and then 80 on Saturday. Some of us may even see the upper 70s on Saturday with those showers and storms possible. So, you know, by next weekend, a little bit cooler if we can say that then this weekend. That will be nice. And another thing to point out too is when it gets this hot, you really want to check the pavement before you take your dogs um, outside or any pets that you have because you don't want it to, to hurt them. Their little paws. I know I always whenever I walk my dog, I always take a you know, take my sand off. I always feel the pavement before I walk them on it. And I always try to walk them in the grass too, but yeah. he always wants to go toward the pavement. I'm like, no, you can't go. Over I there. know they don't understand. You're yeah. like, come on this way, this yes. way. Yeah. Good reminder. Thanks, April.